Hey guys, how y'all doing? Uh, today, I'm back again with, <gasps> shocker, another build. <laughs> like the only thing I ever do. <laughs> uh, so today, I am doing um, something a bit different from my usual aesthetic, but I am quite pleased. I had a ton of fun with this. Uh, so this is a bit more of a modern build, as the title would imply. And I actually, what I did for this is I was fussing around on the old Pinterest and I saw this really cool, very modern house. So I decided to use that as the inspiration, 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 I can speak English, <laughs> as the inspiration for the shell of this build, which was super fun um, and definitely helped push me out of my suburban comfort zone when it comes to building, you know? And the other thing um, about this build is I actually built this on stream. So I've started um, Twitch streaming, which has been incredibly fun. Uh, I absolutely love it. It will come as absolutely no shock to anyone that I love to talk. So it's been a lot of fun to actually be able to like hang out and chat while I'm doing my builds because I'm going to build anyways. And I'm going to talk to myself when I'm building anyway, so I might as well be able to talk with some friends when I'm doing it too. So if you'd like to come hang out with me whenever I am doing my streams, I'll put a link in the description below um, if you want to come by and say hello because your girl loves making new friends and talking. Shocker, I know. <laughs> uh, but that's actually been like soups fun and I have been doing tons of builds on my streams this past week um, and I'm thinking my schedule at this point just because I do work a full-time job why sigh um I'm looking at doing like Monday through Thursday approximately around 8 p.m eastern standard to like 10 or 11 p.m depending on how tired I get because I'm also a sleepy girl um, but yes, and then also on the weekends, um, because I do love my morning cup of coffee, I was thinking it'd be really fun to hang out on, like, Saturday and Sunday mornings around, like, 10 a.m., um, again, Eastern Standard Time, um, to do some morning coffee and build parties. So that's kind of what I'm doing at the moment, and so far it's been an absolute blast. I love doing it. If you have been thinking about starting streaming on Twitch, highly recommend. It's a ton of fun. Um, please feel free to ask me if you have like any questions about Twitch streaming. I'm obviously not like some professional, um, but I do love to see other people hop on um, the Twitch streaming platform as well, just because it's so much fun, guys. You can make friends and hang out and do like, whatever it is that you love to do, but be able to do that while hanging out and, like, you know, having, f like, fun. I think it's a, I think it's a great platform. It's, um, I mean, it's, like, it's literally like YouTube, but, like, live, which is super fun. Um, so I'm gonna be doing a bunch more building on there. Like I said, Monday through Thursdays in the evenings and Saturday, Sundays in the morning. If y'all want to come hang out and party and we can make some really ridiculous sims and some really ridiculous builds. Cause like, why not? Um, and this was, I think this is the first one that I did on stream and I'm super excited to show you guys how it came out. It's like a hyper modern build. Um, and the way I like envisioned it, you know? So I was like thinking like, who would live in this like cool modern house that's like set out in the woods, you know? So I'd imagine it's probably a pretty expensive property. Like, so this is probably like a wealthy Sim or Sims, um, that live here. But because it's like hyper modern, I was thinking that maybe the Sim and or Sims that live in this place are, you know, very into their modern aesthetic but with like a flair for botany, um, which you'll see come in later. But I was like really feeling like because this is set, like I chose a plot of land that's like out in the woods that like this is a this is a sim or sims that have a passion for floral things. So a lot of what I did with the build um, is I focused on incorporating a lot of kind of the outside world on the inside, if you know what I mean. Um, and you'll see that once I actually start like decorating and I'm not just like putting the walls up like I'm doing right now. Cause here I was just like planning out what I wanted 
the like floor plan to look like. Um, and I really didn't have a clear idea going into it what I wanted the floor plan to look like. I don't think I ever really do. I just kind of go in and YOLO it up, you know, like I'm like, I'm just going to let whatever happens happens and we're going to have a party. Um, and I was, you know, thinking like, oh, what should I do? I don't know how to do this, but I kind of went a little bit different. Um, so you can see here that this is going to be like, that's the kitchen of B. Um, but right next to it, I put like the dining room, but how I did it is I had it like kitchen dining room and had it separated by like, right now I've got it separated by half walls, but the end product that you'll see is I did it with like these cool, like slats that I think are from city living question mark. I could be completely wrong. Um, but I really liked like how it came out. It was, I did it something very different than how I usually set up like kitchen dining rooms, but I was super happy with it. Um, which was great. And I had a lot of fun just playing with like building on that like lay modern aesthetic because I like I said I usually go with more like suburbans or colonial builds and I think a lot of that comes from the fact that I actually live in an area that um, all of the properties are colonial. The house I live in is actually has a plaque on it that says it was built in 1750. So like if that gives you an idea of the general aesthetic of the whole area that all of the buildings around here are from the mid 1700s, early 1800s. Um, and actually the building, the building, the house I live in, um, this wasn't even originally built as a house. This was built as a storeroom for fishermen. Um, so, you know, if any of you are about to be like, oh my God, your house is from 1750. If it's haunted, if it's haunted by anything, it's haunted by codfish. <laughs> Because ain't nobody was actually living in here back in the day. This was definitely a storage property for fishermen. Um, so there were probably plenty of dead fish. So, I mean, I haven't seen any yet. Um, and I have a cat and she hasn't seen any yet. And y'all know, if my cat saw dead ghost fish, she would be all over the moon. Um, but we'll update if I ever do a come across any spoopy ghost fish. But so far not. Um, but that just, just to give you like an idea of what it is that I see on a daily basis and what I'm living with. It's like, I'm living in a place that has like the floor are so old that it's literally like slightly lopsided. Like everything in the house is slightly tilted. It's got like the real rustic charm, but that's a lot of where I get my like Sims building aesthetic from. If I said aesthetic like a 10,000 times in this video, because I feel like I have and y'all welcome. Um, and yeah, so that's usually what I go with because it's what I see on a daily basis and it's what I think everything looks like. But obviously everything doesn't look like that in this world. Not everybody's living in an old fish haunted building, you know? Um, so this was really fun to get me out of that comfort zone of just like colonial suburban style looking places. Um, now I will say, and I highly recommend if you're feeling like you're in like a building rut, I really recommend going on Pinterest. Um, Pinterest is your friend. It is so great for finding inspiration for the shells of your buildings. Um, and you know, that's what I did. Cause I'm like, I don't, you know, I don't want to do another suburban today. Like that's just not what I'm feeling. So I went on Pinterest and I just kind of was scrolling through like different housing styles. And I came across this really cool modern house. And I was like, that's gorge. So that's what I used to inspire me in this build. Um, and I can't recommend it enough. I know tons of simmers already, you know, use things like Pinterest and the internet to find really cool shells for their buildings. Um, but if you haven't thought of trying it yet, do recommend it's really great to get you, you know, like I said, out of that comfort zone, out of the dead fish building comfort zone, you know, spread your wings and fly, spread your dead fishy wings in fly. So highly recommend. Um, and actually now that I'm looking at what's actually happening on the screen and not just rambling like a lunatic about dead codfish, um, you can see I, even with like the coffee table, it's one of those coffee tables that has the grass in it. So like I was leaning in hard to this whole, like these Sims love themselves some botany. I'm thinking they're probably like um, absolutely gardeners, possibly scientists. Um, or even better, maybe like a botany professor, right? And like, I know, like, can we, can we talk for a second and dream about Sims University? How great would that be? Um, it's something fun to look forward to hopefully in the future, but that could be a thing. So this could be like a, um, a Sim who is a botany professor. So they are 
you know, they work probably in the city at a university. They're very like hip and chic and cool. Um, but their profession is the study of plants. Um, so I, I leaned in hard, leaned in hard. And if I'm being real here, the initial like spark for me when it came to being like, hold up fam, this sim is into botany of all things, um, is when I was streaming this, I was like looking at all the different couches because I was like, what are we going to do? I don't know. Like, I really want to make this cool and modern, but like, what's the whole vibe? And then I saw this, um, couch and uh, I don't, I'm trying to remember which pack it was from. I can't think of it off the top of my head. And y'all know that the second I hit stop recording, I'm going to remember and it's going to be real embarrassing. Um, but it's a couch that like, if you change the color of it to green, it gets that you can see over there in the right corner, that like green with like a white leaf pattern. And I was like, hold the phone. And from there on out, this just became a botanist's home, um, which I really love. And I feel like that's usually what happens with my builds is like, there's a point in the construction of that, whatever building I'm doing that I'm like, oh, I got it. Um, and it usually happens because of a random, a random item in the build that I'm doing. And in this, I, I'm blaming the couch for that one, but I, I don't know. I'm really excited. I made this like a cute little bathroom slash laundry room. Um, as I spoke about, I think it was my last build that I did. That was like a country suburban is that, um, again, hearkening back to my grandmother's bathroom where she has the laundry in the bathroom. That's what I went for in the downstairs for this one as well, because it is a small property. So it's not like they have a ton of space to have like a separate uh, laundry room. So they utilize the space that they have. Now I am super excited for this upstairs. So I made this like absolutely just like a bedroom and a bathroom. So this is like a master suite upstairs. And guys, I want in real life the final product of this upstairs. I was so excited with it. It just, it's, oh, it's so me. If I had all the money in the world, this is what my bedroom would look like. Um, it's okay. So I, I think I've said this before, but I'm obsessed with full length mirrors and full length mirrors in a bedroom. I feel like it opens the whole place up and makes it so much bigger than it is. Um, and like, I mean, with this bedroom. It's already pretty big, but like I went harder. So I wanted my full length mirrors because full length, little, 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 full length. What is English? Full length mirrors are my life. So put those in there. Y'all welcome. But I had a ton of fun. And for upstairs, I did it a little because downstairs is a lot like darker colors, I'd say, like in the kitchen, dining room area. Um, and then like the wallpaper that I ended up going with for downstairs was a much darker color. So I kind of went the opposite with upstairs, which is a lot more bright, light wood, light colors, bright greens, you know, very much that leafy goodness of the outdoors. Um, and I also really like this upstairs because it just leads out into that awesome balcony. And like, can you imagine living in a place like this? How nice would that be? Like, can you imagine getting up on like a gorgeous Saturday morning, like early summer, weather's just perfect. You have a cup of coffee, you go upstairs to your room and then you go out on this balcony. <gasps> oh, that's literally the dream life. Like I would live in this house in a heartbeat. There would be absolutely no question in my mind if like this house set back in the woods like oh it would be gorgeous I yeah I I want this house can someone get me this house can anyone hit me up let me know are you a realtor can you get me this house because I want it um I'll I'll trade you my dead codfish house for this one <laughs> actually I won't I really love my house <laughs> but a girl can dream about more than one right like that's a thing um ooh, so this bathroom um once again with this bathroom I went with another of um what I like to do, which is this cabinet situation. Um, I am very much about cabinets in bathrooms and I actually, the cabinets, you'll see, I just deleted those ones. They go on the other side. So like the side we're looking at now where I'm like, possibly, yeah, there we go. I was like, I'm not putting the shower over there. Where are that shower or where that hot tub currently is? Gosh, I'm moving fast. Um, there's going to be a cabinet. Spoiler alert. <gasps> Shocker. <laughs> but I love having some kind of like cabinet 
tabletop thingamabobber. There's probably a better descriptive word for that, but that's, that's the descriptive word y'all gonna get. Um, I really like having those in a bathroom. Um, it just, I like having like a space where I know that like a Sim could like do their morning prep, have all of their stuff out. Like, so maybe they're really into makeup or something. So they have all that supplies out and ready to go. You know, cause uh, I wouldn't like the, the tiny like sink space. It's just not enough space for all like your morning routine stuff. So I put some uh, of my own morning routine space in there. Um, cause this sim is worth it. I just know it. I should probably make a sim to actually live in this house because I've committed so hard to their like story. Um, not that you can have like a professor in the sims, but like I could still have a botanist and then I could just say that the botanist is a professor of botany, uh, because I'm here for that. So that's what I would just, that's what I would believe in my heart of hearts. That's what this sim would be is a botany professor. And I, love it. Um, but you can see here now I'm, I'm putting all of the little like tchotchkes for like the bathroom over there. And then we're returning here to the bedroom where I'm about to put down my all time favorite rug in this game. Although, although I will say, um, Strangerville came out this week and there's a new rug that came out with Strangerville that I am obsessed with. I'm obsessed with rugs in general, but I'm very excited for the new rug. Um, but this rug is my absolute favorite. It just looks so fluffy and so snug. And if I had this rug in real life, I would probably never get off of it. I would just lie on the floor, which my cat would probably love because she'd be like, what are you doing human? Hello, welcome. And then just be sitting on me all day. And honestly, I'd be okay with that too, because that sounds like the perfect life. So, you know, and just another reason why I want this house is because my cat and I could just chill on the couch all day. Not on the couch, on the rug. What are words? What even are words? Words aren't a thing. Who needs words? Uh, and so I'm just gonna finish up this build with just a little bit of fangs on the outside. At first I was thinking about putting like more things out here, but then I decided that like I wanted like simpler is better sometimes, you know, the whole like less is more. So I eventually kind of gave up on like trying to put tons of things out here and just let it be simple and cute and really focus on the fact that like you could sit out here with that good cup of coffee on an early summer morning, Saturday, I'm envisioning, um, just hanging out and enjoying the natural world around you. Cause like it's, you're set back in this cute little forest area. There's probably not a lot of noise going on. It's probably beautiful. You can hear the birds singing, kick back, relax, and just, you know, enjoy. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's my excuse at least. And I'm sticking to it, fam. Um, so just finishing up the outside with a little bit of landscaping is going to be happening. Now this was really funny. Um, like I said, I was streaming when I was doing this and I was just like looking around the house and then I was like, hold up fam. Because I noticed that for whatever reason, um, the wood siding wasn't going all the way across there and I couldn't figure it out. So instead of fighting with the UI, I decided to embrace the bizarreness of it and stick some leaves on the side of the house. So um, that's why that's there. Um, we can all pretend that it's just like cool aesthetic and then it's absolutely not because I couldn't figure out why that wood siding paneling thingy wasn't going all the way over, okay? If anyone asks, it was just aesthetic. It definitely wasn't because I couldn't figure out what was happening to my build. All right, guys? That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Nobody needs to know the truth unless they watch back the VOD of the stream. And then they'll be like, um, excuse me. And I'll be like, shh, shh, you saw nothing. You saw nothing. You heard nothing. You know nothing. <laughs> um, and then out front here, I'm just doing a little bit of like wild flowers. Um, I'm sure that this would be something that the Sim living here would be tending to in the mornings. They come out with their watering can and just like give a little love to all of their plants. And I do finish up this with my absolute favorite um, way to do landscaping, at least at the moment, which is by like enclosing it all in a variety of like chunky rocks. I love it. I feel like we need more rocks. We have like four different types of rocks. So I try to like spice it up, but I'd love more rocks. Did someone uh, tell the sim gurus that I demand more rocks? <laughs> I'm probably the only one, but you know, someone's got to do it guys. Uh, anyways, that is the end of this build. I'm super excited with how it came out. 
Um, like I said earlier, if you would like, I have started Twitch streaming and would love to see you guys there hang out, have some fun and do some absolutely bizarre builds. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you would like to download this, it will be up on the gallery under Symposia uh, with two eyes instead of one because I'm extra and all the links will be in the description below. I hope you guys have a fantabulous day. Bye.